Last time I showed you how you can create smooth animation to make your videos more professional and engaging. But here is something even more powerful. You can create complete b-roll sequence in Canva and directly use in your videos. Hey guys, this is Krishna from Digital Contouring. And today I will show you how you can create custom b-roll sequence in Canva so you don't need to look for the stock footages that will make your videos boring now let's play this animation and we'll see how i created this animation first thing first what we do we always go for the video tab when we are working on the video so let's open the video tab now i'm creating for short form videos you can create for long form videos same just need to change the dimension or you can use this dimension as well and just remove the background let's do this so you can go with the mobile video that is 1080 by 1920 once you open the blank canvas now here just type green screen and select the any background so you just select select this background the canvas that we are working on and now we will change its color automatically the element that we selected we will find this color we got the green background for this particular animation you can select any element that you want to create for the animation for this animation let's select one square size basic shapes from the canva or use to create such animation from here you can select anything that you like any kind of shape you can select for example we can go with this and let's just change color to the white color from here so for example this is our first element okay type t on your keyboards too so text box will come here so for example this is our first point okay and what is the first point is zero one and the first point is learn for just for the example you can now add whatever text that you want to add here okay first is learn not earn first you need to learn anything then you can go for the earning phase from here you can select the font and recently i'm using this particular font that so select this for the text and you can select for the number as well okay so first element is ready and reduce its size a little bit okay then you can make a group and then duplicate and place here and add your second topic or title for example practice you need to practice once you learn anything then place here the third element make sure you are adjusting the size and height properly and then you can earn right so this is the second step put 0 2 let's add 0 3 here so now we have the three step from here you will find the timeline for these pages so what i will do i will just click on this so now i can zoom the timeline and i will adjust its timeline from here duplicate this first page make sure you are grouping these elements select all elements and make a group again i forgot so if you do it in the initial while creating first element automatically you will save this time that we are taking right now so need to know how you can save time while working on the canva that is very important so now groups are ready the so first page is like only one element will be visible and other it's going to be revealed so for that what i need to do i will just select this hold shift and then drag to this direction so it is behind the second select third element hold shift and move towards the left now it's on the top so what you can do just go to the position section from here and make it to the back so now let's see the layers so this is the second on the top behind it the point first and the third point perfect this will going to be revealed so now when i'm talking about these three points automatically i'll start with the first point so i want this should be the bigger size and this should be in the smaller size so again duplicate the page and now i will select this two and reduce its size like this so now you can see automatic this two will go down when animation happen and this will stay in the 
bigger size let's duplicate this page second page place this page here because when i'm done with my first point what i want i want my before i start the second point all the three elements should be visible on the where i'm talking about this particular topic let's adjust the timeline little bit and now here what i want while working on this animation you need to make sure you are enabling this setting you can go to the file section here from the setting show rulers and guides always make sure you are enable this and from here you adjust the reference line you can take the reference line for this because the element should be properly arranged now just click you can see the reference point here so now while i'm talking about the second point these two will go down and the point that i'm explaining should be in the center of the page okay so this is the second point so now i will duplicate this page again and i will place after the second point are you getting first point second animation these three will reveal then i'll talk about the first point then i will talk about the second before second point comes what i want this page again it will show me like first point then again three points will on the uh, screen then the second point then again three points will be on the screen now i need to duplicate this and while i'm talking about the third point go to the this page and i will adjust or reduce its size like this up to reference line and when i'm done with the third point again the main three point will be on the screen let me just put this here okay it's time to add transition between all the pages if you just scroll here if you add your pointer here then you will find the plus and the add transition option just click on this when you click on this now here you will get the options so now let's adjust the timing of this from here i will just reduce it time and let me just reduce the timing of the each page from here you can directly type the timing for the pages from here we can go for the 1.5 second and let's see how it looks on 1.5 and the total duration of the video will is 0.13 seconds and let's see the speed of this video because we are using on the shots real shots then you can talk about the one points like the speed so i think the video is perfectly fine now it's time to download and use in another software or you can directly put in the canva and remove its background but what we will do we will upload this video in different software and let's see how we can remove its background by using chroma key so i have downloaded the video that we created in canva now we will use in the vn software let's see landscape video we will add this animation and in vertical format we will see on both the videos how we can add so just need to select the video from here and you can see the insert option here place here so automatically this video will come here okay so now i will select the greens and i will put on the overlay option now it will be on here so here on the right side you can see i will zoom this for you guys can see here you can see the option the chroma and the color picker is already selected you just need to increase the intensity from here let's see how it looks i will go to the up to 100 the green screen is removed right and i will just play this video and let's see how the video is looking suppose you want to adjust the timing of this then select this overlay that we created in canva as a b-roll and then you can adjust its timing from here again you can see this is the button to adjust timing and let's increase its time go to the regular and from here i will just up to 2x now you can see the timing is increased now i have added the landscape video on the screen and let's use this green screen place on the overlay section 
go to the chroma select increase the intensity and just drag this green screen will be removed and now i can adjust the timing of this if you want to increase or if you want to make it slow you can adjust from there so you can adjust the size and placing of this animation the way you want let's place this here and play it again and let's see how it is looking right this is how you can create b-roll animations in canva and use as overlay in any software